From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your weekend weather. Hey folks, happy Saturday. It is January 6th, the first full weekend of 2024. I can't believe we made it this far already and we're only continuing. Let's see what we have in store for the week ahead. First things first, this weekend, I think tomorrow is going to be a little bit better than today. Today's not too bad. We have some showers out there lingering still with cloud cover, but I think tomorrow is mostly dry. We're going to have a nice Sunday there, but we're getting much more active as we head into the next week or so. We're getting into this more active pattern. We'll be discussing this possibility and it looks like that's coming to bear. Now, let's take a look at the Futurecast next 24 hours and you can see what I'm talking about through this morning. Pretty cloudy out there. You see a few lingering light showers. Not a huge deal. Definitely we've seen worse, so it's not too bad. I think tomorrow is just going to be a little bit better. We let up some of those clouds and we definitely let up those showers. I think our Sunday is going to be dry. Now, for our Saturday here though, highs upper 40s, near 50 across the Tennessee Valley. We cool back down through the 30s as we head through tonight. I think by the time all is said and done with it, we're going to be talking about lows somewhere in the mid to upper 30s range. I think freezing temperatures are probably out of the question for tonight, but wouldn't shock me if one or two of us might get down that low. Now, let's see what the future cast has in the extended term. As I mentioned, Sunday looking better, clouds let up, but another system off to our west is going to be a kind of a rambunctious weather maker. That's going uh, kind of Monday the Tuesday range, right? We're watching this time from here first for wind. It's going to be very windy. You see these lines here? Those are called isobars, and I've said this before, and I won't bore you with the technical details, but what you need to know is when these are closer together, that means there's more wind. So it's going to be a breezy Monday and into Tuesday. Then we get this precipitation, lots of rain there, and then as we head past that, late Tuesday, I would say early Wednesday. Well, check it out. The possibility of some wraparound showers, perhaps even some wraparound flurries are there as that system moves through. So it's definitely that more rambunctious pattern. But interestingly, it kind of evens us out, right? We have big troughing off to the west. That keeps them cold. Off to the east, that keeps them warm. We're about where we should be. So I think the temperature is going to be, you know, 40s, 50s for the foreseeable future. Indeed, today is one such example. Clouds sticking around highs near 50 across the Tennessee Valley. But the week ahead, I think, is a much more interesting forecast, especially this time frame that I was just discussing. Overnight rain and wind through Monday. That's as the system is approaching. And I think Monday itself will probably be pretty windy too as that system inches closer. So we'll be watching this time frame for the possibility of some wind advisories across the area. Tuesday looks pretty rambunctious as well. Moving out late Tuesday, possible flurries there, then dry for the end of the week with temperatures staying there in the 50s and 40s past that. So definitely a rambunctious forecast. One of my favorite words there, rambunctious. I'll keep a close eye on it here over the next several days and I'll keep you updated here. I'll be back with you at 12 for more fresh from the Tennessee Valley Weather Center.